G'day, my name is Alan Teske. My main aim in beekeeping is to experiment and to obtain as much honey from the hives as possible. Today I'm travelling around the different sites so as to start the preparation of my drone mother hives. I like to have one drone mother hive at each of my sites. This is the first hive in this yard that I'm checking to see if I consider it has sufficient bees to draw the drone comb that I require. With my lift tech loader it is a simple process that I can lift two supers at once or I can lift four supers if transferring from one site to another site. Frames are being checked to see how much brood and larvae are in the hive. This hive is putting honey in instead of the queen laying eggs and rearing brood. Considered not uh, suitable for uh, a drone hive at this stage. For queen bee rearing, drone mother hives are required to supply sufficient mature drones for matings. I rear my queens at different sites and have a number of drone mother hives for this purpose. Four and five frame full depth nukes are required. Another hive is now being checked to see if it is suitable to be a drone mother hive. The last one was putting in too much honey and the queen was not rearing sufficient eggs which I considered suitable. The excluder and the brood rearing mat is being removed to allow me to get into the brood super. In the tech beekeeping world, it is a fallacy to put your frames back in the same position as they were when you removed them. A frame for the bees to draw drone comb. Right. An irradiated drone comb frame was cut two thirds out so as to accommodate the bees to be able to draw drone comb. This is the drone uh, frame that I'm putting in. I put it in further in towards the centre of the nest so that the bees will draw it a lot quicker. From egg to hatching is around about 25 days. So this will be probably about 50, 60 days that, uh, before I'm able to uh, secure my uh, fertile drones or mature drones. All the brood frames are now being uh, squeezed together so that they're firm. The brood room mat is now being placed and then the excluder. The top honey super is full and the middle super is about three quarters. They woke them up. <laughs> right, finish. Yeah, number seven hive is the hive that uh, is going to be one of my uh, drone uh, hives for rearing of my queens. By removing the top super I can check the middle super to see just how much honey is in it and uh, after having a look the, the super is nearly full. All the corners of my supers are tapered so that the hive tool will fit in them quite easily. This excluder has a fair bit of uh, burr comb on it, so the next time I come down I'll have to bring a new excluder and replace it. This hive and this frame has plenty of bees and brood and young larvae, so it'll be suitable for placing the drone frame in it.
I can tell that the top super is full of honey by the bounce and the, the, the groan of the motor lifting the super. Fine adjustments can be made with your hive tool to centralise the top super above the bottom. I designed my lift tech loader back in 2000 so that I do not have to lift the heavy supers and it makes it that much easier for working your beehives. I use the tech rain hoods and M locks on all my honey production hives and nukes. Mm -hmm.